people of Earth, I'm Carolina, and this is my dad. I'm Eddie. And today we're going to be making some fondant. And why are we making fondant frosting? Because um, for my birthday cake, because my birthday is next week. And we're making a super special birthday cake, correct? Yes. Yes. What is the cake going to be? Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to film a couple videos in regards to this cake. So you guys will see the end result, but we're going to start today with the fondant. Right? Yes. So fondant frosting we start with? Marshmallows. A whole bag of marshmallows. Get dump those in. Yeah. Oh, they're going everywhere. Nope, oh, there you go. You can dump those in. We need uh, two to five tablespoons of water. This hot? No, it's not. We'll start with three though. Three full spoons. Just dump it in. Two more. That's good. And uh, typically people like to do this in the microwave, which is not what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it over a double boil to melt these down pretty slow. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we also have to sift some flour. So let's do that now. Okay? okay. Yes, I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to dump oil. Okay. I'm going to dump some of it. Okay, sift. Okay. Sifted uh, uh, powdered sugar pepper. into here. Into here. Okay. Yes. You want me to do it or you want to do it? I want to do it. Do okay. I just like? We're going to pick it up a little bit together. Uh -huh. Just dump most of it in. There we go. That's good. Okay. That's enough. Now, what you're going to do, one hand hold the bowl. Mm -hmm. Is it hot? It's warm. One hand hold the bowl, and with the other hand, take this, hold it, choke up on it, right to there, and slowly start folding. The marshmallow in. You can turn the bowl. Start folding the marshmallow in. For a second, Over there, all right? So get rid of this water. Look at this. Crisco. I want you to put your hands in there, grab a chunk of Crisco. No, no, no. There we go. Now rub it all over the table, all over the countertop. A lot more, more. more. Is this like oil? Oh. Yes, this is a vegetable. Vegetable. Sure. It's supposed to be like, like lard. It's like vegetable lard. Hands? Ow. Get it all over your hands. And the reason we're doing this because the vegetable oil this is so gross. keeps this from, from getting dry, but it also keeps your hands from sticking to the I'm sugar market. You're going to knead it with your hands. So let me take all this out. Ready? This is so gross. Woo! It's so sticky. It's super sticky. You can start kneading it with your hands. Good. It's so warm. Yeah, well, it just came up the double boil. It's pretty hot. It's like, yeah, just. Wipe it, it all that off. Throw it all off. Crisco my hands as well. Okay. 
and it's some more Pisco. I think. Really? It's like an ever running hand sanitizer. <laughs> this is the exact opposite of hand sanitizer. <laughs> this will attract everything to your hands. It's all sugar. Okay, so we need it. That's here. It's all gummy too. That's fine. Um, do you want to eat it? No. So what we're going to do next, we're going to take this fondant. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut it in half, and we're going to put a little bit of dye in each one. We'll do one pink and one blue. Mm -hmm. That's for the cakes that we're going to make today, okay? Okay. to take pink and put about five drops in there. Five? Yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. Five. Okay. Now, I'll do one you can Which one do you want to do? Okay, so what I want you to do, okay. fold it over like you're doing. Okay. Fold it. Oh. Press it. It's okay. If something's gonna get out, it's okay. Press it. Fold it. Press it. Just keep looking. Some blue's gonna get red. It's on your fingers. It's, it's alright. Okay. Don't worry. To store this, if you're not using it immediately, you can wrap it really tightly uh, in saran wrap, but you have to rub it in Crisco, right? So grab a handful of Crisco. More. There you go. And now rub it all over that pink one. We currently are out of saran wrap, so we're going to use a sandwich bag. Uh, and you want it to be as air tight as possible. You want to get as much air out of it. Flip it over and get some on the other side too. Do you more? Yeah, a little bit. So you want to get as much air as possible out of it. So, so just dry it out? Yes. Right here. So I'm going to squeeze this down and try to get Crisco. hold. Yes. Here's your Crisco. I'm going to try to squeeze as much air out of this as possible. 
and being a sandwich bag, it has a little flap, so it's kind of helpful. And that's how you store it. You can store it in the refrigerator, you can store it on the counter, and it can last for weeks. And that's how you make fondant.